everyone, welcome to Rose's Liberty. Today I am in the garden and I wanted to explain to you what we're doing with the expansion and it's going to double our growing space that we have here in our 0.24 acre urban garden, urban homestead. So this is Rose's Liberty Cottage. Liberty Cottage belongs to the Roses and we're on the Tidewater area of Virginia. I am gardening here in the yard and we also have an off-grid property that belongs to the family that's 30 plus acres at another part of Virginia. There's nothing much growing there except for pine trees and that's where we go hunting and fishing and just get out and be off grid and a little bit of silence, right? We have been truly blessed with the abundance of vegetables that we've been able to get out of three raised beds and a bunch of containers. So now we've doubled that space. So this year I hope we have the best year yet as far as gardening and I'm really looking forward to this next season. Now all the work we're doing right now is thanks to my husband and son at this point. And on December 30th, I was down in Georgia with my little grandsons and I fell, I slipped on a wet, uh, slick spot on a waterfall and messed up my shoulder. I went through about six weeks of physical therapy and right now I'm waiting for the referral to be sent to some office in order to get more care to hopefully get an MRI on the shoulder. So my usual fashion is to go pick up the bags of gravel and the bags of dirt myself whenever the guys are at work or in school for my son. Um, he goes to community college and it's usually I'll do it myself get stuff you know they may help me on the weekends get the big bags here but I'm usually the one that's doing it myself they do help when I need them to help right now I'm relying totally on my husband to go with me to the store and our son to help us they were putting together the two raised beds yesterday on Yesterday was Friday. On Thursday evening, they moved uh, the one raised bed from the lower part of the yard. You'll see that in this video and why we moved it. And it's because of the way the water runs in the yard. It was damming it up and making it worse. So we moved it to a high, to higher ground. But they did that on Thursday evening. Friday, we went to um, first. I went to Home Depot uh, looking for some other things. It has to do with a redecoration of a bathroom. And then I met my husband at Lowe's, which is they're basically right next door to each other. Now the reason why you will see with my beds that I use uh, bricks around them, that's because we have a whole pile of bricks behind the shed from a, uh, the pavers were used. We used to have paver deck behind the house, but it retained a lot of water and we also kept, well, we also had termites. So we had termites in one, two, three walls of the back of the house and that always stayed wet. So that encourages termites to um, keep going. And we lost the original first two beds that I put up years ago, like eight years ago, to termites. So around the uh, wooden raised beds, I put bricks or the pavers, and then I'm using gravel instead of mulch. I know that's more expensive, but it's because of the termites in the area and lessons learned here living in this area. There goes our, some of our neighborhood right there. So that's the reason why, you know, some of you might watch the video and say, oh man, that gravel is expensive. But I'm also going for the cottage feel, cottage look, and I, that's, and I like the gravel. I like the um, river rock pea gravel. So that's what we're doing with that. All right, so the rest of this video is pretty much what the pictures I've taken, a little bit of clips here and there of what, uh, it's very difficult when you're doing a project to um, film what you're doing. It's just easier for me to pull out and take a quick picture and then continue working. With the shoulder injury, like I said, my husband and son are doing most of the heavy lifting for me. I am putting the bricks around and basically I carry one, or I keep calling them bricks or pavers. I carry one paver at a time from the pile and put it around. So today my husband is going to get a wheelbarrow full, bring them over, and then I can lay them out one at a time using my left hand, not using the injured shoulder. I do have good range of motion, so you'll see me doing things, but it's mostly things like lower down this way. Um, anything that's up high, I can't really do, and I don't have any strength in it. So um, today we are going to be putting more gravel and the pavers around the beds that are here. And what else are we doing? We're working on the deck. There's a lot of things that have collected over the winter. And there's the side of the yard where those old black and yellow containers are. Those are going to be dumped out at this point. The same dirt's been in there for several years. And I'm going to be dumping them on the beds that we just put together, or my son and husband are going to be doing that. And also there is a little garden bed that's right outside of a window that needs some softer soil in there. So they are going to be dumped there. And then I have organic fertilizer that I'll add to the beds. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs>
hope you've enjoyed this visit today to Rose Liberty Cottage and maybe there's some helpful information, uh, some ideas like if you're putting in your first raised beds, you'll know watch out for termites, watch out for where the sun goes, where it rotates around your yard throughout the day and that goes for all the different seasons. Maybe start with containers. Here at Rose Liberty, my philosophy is to homestead where you are with the resources you have available, whether that's a couple of pots in your kitchen window or acres and acres upon acres. Um, so do the best you can with what you have available and the time allotment that you have to do it in. So just um, wish us luck this spring. I'm really excited about the upcoming spring and what's gonna happen in the garden. I hope I don't need any kind of sh shoulder surgery or anything. If I do, I'm just going to be a one-winged bird running around getting things done. So everyone take care. Thanks for stopping by. Please like, comment below on things that you're doing in your garden. Please share maybe the video and subscribe. If you hit that bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos come up. I have a lot of footage to put out that I have filmed in the past and I've decided to go ahead and put them up. And they'll be dated like the bathroom update 2021, the bathroom update 2020. Uh, you might see a lot of those coming out, but it's old footage. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it up. And I hope you enjoy things that I'm doing. Please like, subscribe, share, comment on some things that you'd like to see. I will be going more to Colonial Williamsburg and areas like that. I love history and I love putting, um, taking pictures of areas like that as well as nature. You'll notice half my videos so far are all of nature in the area, which I absolutely love. So everyone take care, thank you, and have a great day.